guys, welcome to my channel HI Beauty by Yulia. This is another campaign Chimey Review Me from Style Korean, and I will show you today quite a few different SPFs. If you like the content of this channel, please consider subscribing to it, give this video a thumbs up, share it, and comment below. Don't forget to find me on Instagram and TikTok for much more beauty content. But let's start with the SPFs straight away. <laughs> Product number one is Crown Lab, and this is their Birch Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen. This is high protection of SPF 50 plus with PI plus 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 plus. This is a product which is described as a two-in-one moisturizer and SPF, which is suitable for for all skin types. Obviously, I do have to say that because it is a moisturizing type of product as well if your skin is oily i'm not very sure that you will appreciate that much the product but someone like me definitely now there's a few different ingredients that i want to mention here obviously in the beginning of the ingredients list you have your filters but then actually you have niacinamide which is amazing whether for the regulation of the oil production whether for sensitivity, eczema, redness prone skin, irritation, and etc., whether for something like hyperpigmentation, so for uneven skin tone as well. So, all around goodie, and it is part of this product. I have to also add here that there is chamomile essential oil, so bear this one on mind in case you have um, any type of sensitivity towards this ingredient, but for me personally, no irritation, neither for my eyes, neither for my skin. Here, the highlighted ingredient is birch sap juice or extract, and this is 1450 ppm, which might sound like a lot, but actually, when you transform this into percentage in this product, that is 0.14%. So it's not that much. It is anti-inflammatory ingredients. It can be hydrating ingredients. It's absolutely great, but I'm not really sure how much will it do in this concentration here. To aid the hydration here, you have a few different types of hyaluronic acid and adenosine, but those licorice, you have vitamin C, fine as well. So all in all, great ingredients. The texture, it just melts onto the skin, when you apply it, just bursts into water. Super easy to apply, very pleasant. It does have dewy finish, and therefore I do think that if your skin is oily and you don't like this finish, this is not the one for you. But all of the best cases, dry, sensitive, combination skin, dehydrated, loving dewy finish, you will definitely appreciate this one. And I will love it, and I think it deserves so much more love here in the west because in korea it is a very very favorite product and i completely understand why our second product is from jumisu now they did release two different spf i have here the orange one that's our sun airy feet I do have the blue one, which is SPF with moisturizer, two in one. I'm going to compare them very likely these days in Instagram. So, yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will show you how they compare actually to one another. But part of the Trimia Review Me campaign was this one. So, this is a very lightweight, lotion y type of SPF. The brand suggests that it is suitable for all skin types. If you ask me, from all of the creamy moisturizers, I mean, to be fair, from all the five moisturizers, this one has the dewiest of them all to finish. So do bear on this one on mine, but it doesn't feel heavy onto the skin. As ingredients here, you have chemical filters. There is no added fragrance here. The brand is cruelty-free. You have a vegan product into your hands, and it feels very nice onto the skin. As highlighted ingredients here, you do have bamboo stem extract. And while, I'm sorry, but in Brown Lab, the highlighted ingredients was in quite small amount, here indeed, it is the second ingredient into the Inky List, your bamboo extract. So this is definitely appreciated. It is soothing, hydrating, antioxidant, 
great ingredient. Also here, you have quite a few ingredients improving the hydration of the skin, like hyaluronic acid, glutamine glycol, glycerin as well. After this, that the brand added niacinamide and adenosine, and actually they added a Viper Burglossy oil. That's a purple flower. You can even find it here in UK. There's a sunflower oil. There's balloon vine, which is anti-inflammatory ingredient. So it's great for redness and for irritable skin, which totally makes sense into an SPF product. So if you do like Jumisu, they do have three different SPF. The one that they used to have and obviously still have is part of their waterfall line. And it is a hydrating SPF suitable for dry skin, for sensitive skin. Then you have this one, which is for combination oily type of skin with light texture, with no white cast. And then you have the blue one, which is a moisturizer and SPF 2-in-1, which will be a bit more hydrating. So it will be more towards the dehydrated and dry skin. And obviously, fragrance-free, essential oil-free, and no alcohol into those ones. you haven't seen this moisturizer then i have no idea where have you been sleeping so this spf is with probiotics and rice bran extract indeed the rice bran extract is here 30 percent so quite high concentration and the probiotics are quite a few of them into this product this is a velvety silky type of spf that applies really nicely and really pleasant. It does have natural to glowy type of finish, but definitely far less glowy than the Jumis one, for example. And it feels really nice, and really, really nice onto the skin. So you can guess that I do very much like this one. There's no essential oils, there's no fragrance, there is no alcohol here. The ingredients list is amazing. Bear in mind that you can find this product currently in South Korean. It was on promotion. They do also have a double pack, which is an amazing deal. And in case you're not sure, or for some reason, even this little 50 ml tube is not working for you, they do have also option of a tube, which looks the same, but it's only 10 milliliters. So you can get this one, try it yourself, and decide whether you like or dislike the product. In general, I have seen just really really few reviews that haven't been that great and i do think that it is mainly because of the finish because obviously some people like mattifying products and this is not one of them but if you do like more natural finish definitely you will enjoy this product zero irritation for the skin for the eyes on the contrary probiotics are great for the skin barrier so it is more soothing than irritating for what is worth it feels amazing onto the skin. The filters are chemical, so they do afford this type of very light and pleasant texture. Here you also have ginseng and adenosine, which are part of your anti-aging care. You have pumpkin and sugar cane, which naturally contain alpha hydroxy acids. You have along with this coconut and kelp as well, green tea. I'll add here that I actually have the new SPF from the brand, which is the ginseng sun serum i'm going to compare them i think in social media in instagram and tiktok i'm not really sure about here in youtube but do let me know in the comments if you like this type of comparison this or that for a product because i do have quite a few of them for the summer and if you're curious about newly released products which have some similarities let me know in the comments and i'll do this type of video If the products that I have mentioned so far did not speak to you because you have oily skin, it's not dehydrated, you don't like the glowing natural finish as well, and you want something mattifying, there it is. I do have something for you. So this is the Cobble and that's a cotton soft sun stick. Very high protection. It does apply like a dream. It has mattifying finish. It's amazing to reapply your SPF. For me personally, I don't think that sticks are the best way to initially apply your spf i prefer my lotion fluid cream moisturizer type of spf but over makeup or during the day for your 
the application don't forget to uh, every two hours this feels amazing if you're a man and you don't like to use anything shiny sticky with white cast and etc you don't like a lotion cream type of spf this is definitely for you it feels velvety no white cast applies quite easily it feels like there is nothing onto the skin and the finish is matte so especially for men and for people with oily skin this is definitely a product to try for me the only negative here is that the brand did added fragrance the ingredients list is super long there's a lot of beneficial ingredients but in the same time if for some reason you have negative reaction because let's be honest everyone can be allergic towards everything you will have no clue what went wrong but this is great spf with a lot of great ingredients inside now the cotton is here because it is great moisturizing ingredients so it will protect the skin the product contains herb ac complex which comes a sensitive skin it is a mix of uh, four different herbal medicines which are with great anti-inflammatory properties you have anti sebum pea oil balance which is a mix of fine needles ginseng and evening primrose below the one percent you will find china berry eggplant turmeric red algae <laughs> aloe vera so a lot of great beneficial for the skin ingredients great sun stick amazing for oily skin amazing for men skincare great to reapply your makeup great even as a makeup base this is the last product for today so this is a bib and if it looks a bit unusual it is because this is a new product so this is their airy sun stick they do have two other sun stick once again i do have them let me know if you want me to compare them but this is smoothing bar this has semi mattifying finish it is the most invisible from all of the three bars that uh, this brand has but as of this day that i'm filming this this is mid-june i have to say that there's no information about this product in the official abib website and it's not avail available for sale in south korean so i think this is like a pre-test maybe or something like this because also very very confusing for me there is active ingredients drug facts here so i can see what are the filters and their contents but there is no ingredients list so no ingredients on the stick no ingredients on the box there was no leaflet inside this product is not available in style korean yet uh, there's no information about it in a bit yet so i'm not really sure what is inside I did see a few different reviews about i don't know where they get their information but what they say is that it contains ectoin or estuin alantoin sunflower to be fair i really don't know what else is inside apart from the filters that we have here this is really easy to use over makeup great once again for men great if your skin is oily and combination if your skin is dry but you don't like glowy finish type of stick then you can try this one because obviously the quick sun stick that a bit has the other one is more natural towards glowy type of finish otherwise the packaging is exactly the same the shape of the stick is also the same but obviously the texture and the finish are completely different so yes despite that our last product is surrounded by mystery and not really sure what is inside i have to say that i did really enjoy all five of the products all of them have amazing protection all of them are suitable for slightly different skin whether you will wear makeup whether you won't what type of finish you like and etc but all of them are great i didn't experience irritation from the use of none of these and i'm quite happy to recommend all of them obviously depending on what type of ingredients you prefer what kind of finish or maybe even you have one favorite brand from all those thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did so consider subscribing to the channel press on the notification bell give this video a thumbs up comment below share it you know the drill very much appreciate it if you do so 
You can find me and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for much more beauty content. And I hope I'll see you again. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.